Good morning guys and welcome to our My Trucking Life. I'm CJC. Here's our Cinderella. And we've woken up after a, a nice night's sleep. Although I don't feel like I've slept much. And overnight with this beautiful daft parked opposite us. I love daft. We are just getting up off junction 24 of the M5. We've got um, another 39 miles to go before we reach our drop in Exeter. So I'm just going to go finish off my checks and then we'll get going, shall we? Nice. Right, okay, well, we looked over the route on that last night and saw that there was a 14-6 bridge and um, my comical attempt to try and measure the height with a tape measure because the uh, someone had broke the measuring stick at the house factory. So last night I tried measuring it with a tape measure and the winds were that bad. I, I really struggled to do it and I managed to get a rough estimate that we was about 14 2 to 14 3 high and the bridge is 14 3 and um, so I decided to come this way to to avoid the bridge but there's a weight limit 7.5 ton weight limit so I've just um, I've had to reroute myself again to avoid the weight limit. So all the fun of trucking, eh? We're going to have to go back to the motorway junction and then go through and just take a wider, a wider entrance to Exeter. So luckily, I gave myself enough time. Oh, what a testing morning, eh? But. At least we're on the straight and narrow now. We haven't broken any rules and gone through any weight limits because even though I could turn around and say, yes, well, I'm delivering the other side of the weight limit. If there's a camera there, that they'll show no mercy. They'll say, oh, you could have gone this way. So, ah, well, problem averted. Yeah, there's the sign for the site now, so straight on. Ah, nothing like a bit of a, a tester first thing in the morning to keep you on your toes. At least we can uh, go the normal way back because we won't have this massive uh, dominating, fancy putting a curve. Oh, there's a cone in the middle of the roundabout there, did you see it? That forced me across and I just caught the curve. Right, you're on the corner there, so I'm gonna have to come round one more. Thank you very much. Ah, and there's a blinking van there. So there. I can't make the turn while you're there. I've had to let the car through. Well, the tests continue. Ah, oh, there's another one behind him as well. Oh, what a nightmare. Right, that's it now. I've got out of everyone's way. I've had to get on the curb because how close I was to the roundabout. And if anyone else comes now, I'm sorry, but they're going to have to back off. Oh, goodness me. Oh. Dorothy's off up the shops. Go, Dorothy, go. Go on, you can get through the gap now. Tip a lorry behind me now as well. Yep, okay, mate. Well, we have made it. <laughs> I 
All right, guys, we are tipped and ready to rock and roll now. I've even had a chance to get all that crap off the side of our cinders. Uh, the rear arches and wheels are still rammy, but I've got all the sides all done. And then hopefully later on I'll get a chance to do the front, and then we might be able to work on the wheels sometime. But ideally, we need to get back to the yard to do it properly, but never mind. Um, I'll do some subscriber shout-outs a little bit later on. I've just got to get the paperwork now find out what we've got to do next. Right, time to get out of this place. Now we've got to go out the way we came in, but first we've got to get turned round down here somewhere. So, um, looks like there's plenty of space though, to be honest. Now we can't just drive out this way because there's not quite enough room at the one of the roads. It looks like we're going to have to blind it up that gap there, turn around. It's not ideal, but never mind. I don't want to be going over that drain there. Ah, oh, joys. Joys, joys, joys. Oh. Try not to kick up too much dust. I've just cleaned our Cinderella. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Nicely done. Now let's head back up. We've got to give the gaffer a bell around Portbury. Well, there'll be no need to call the gods. They've just rung me up and whispered in my ear. We're going to be going over the River Seven, guys, to get ourselves a coil from Newport South Wales. Lovely. It's been a while since we popped there, to be honest. So our sheets are dry from all those bricks last week. Well, fortunately the bridge is open and um, there are speed limits to 50 miles an hour though. So, just got to take it steady. And um, yes, I want to wish Paratus all the best on your test today. Um, let me know in the comments down below how you got on. I'm sure you'll have passed the hope. Um, Righty ho, it's a glorious day. It is a bit windy obviously, but that is because we are pretty high above the River Seven. So don't forget you can uh, subscribe to me down below and maybe hit the bell icon to get notifications every time I'm live or every time I release a new video. And um, yeah, I just want to welcome Trucking L, Justin Marpole, Sean Phillips, Lee Gettings, Brendan Michael, Bloodhound Play Games, Matt H, Jesse Fernandez. Look at this glorious tank here. <laughs> nice and shiny. Uh, Lee Brooks, Roland Rat, Richard Parrish, Gary Brown, Mr. Mad Hass, and uh, Jamie Rigby. I want to welcome you lot, you the, the latest notifications I've had via email of subscribing to me, so that's fantastic news. We are growing again slightly, it is nice to see the numbers creeping up. We're sitting around 1,370 subscribers and um, an interesting fact is that about 49 to 50% of the videos are watched by people who aren't actually sub sub subscribed, which is a bit strange really. So. Uh, don't forget to hit that sub button. But most importantly, don't forget to come back and watch again. <laughs> All right, well, there we have it. Two 12 and a half ton coils sheeted up and ready to go. It's not the best job I've ever done, but we are definitely getting there. 
I'm just learning the placement of the sheet when I'm pulling it tight because I've got it slightly lopsided again this time. It's a bit more hanging over uh, this side than the other side. But you know, it is what it is and we've done our best. There's a couple of rope hooks missing on the trailer as well but we've made do. We've got them all strapped and it's all good. So now it's going to burnt wood and by the time we've got this off we might be going out to the house factory or summit because it'll be getting on. And hello to you whoever it was with the scrap metal. Uh, I did see you waving just in your white Volvo. I did wave right at the last minute. Uh, thanks for saying hello buddy. Had a decent drive up to be honest. We had a tiny bit of a delay in the roadworks but failing that it's been um, two hours and probably 50 minutes by the time you get parked up. We're going where that Mercedes has just turned right, that big truck there. Uh, but we've got to go up to this roundabout first because there's no right turn. So we've got to double back on ourselves. Oh goodness me, that drain was deep. What a deep drain that was. <laughs> but I'm um, still not sure whether uh, we'll be staying out tonight or not. He might send me somewhere else. He hasn't said for definite. But I've told him that we're available if so. Okay, well, we're empty now. We got a bit delayed in there having to wait for one of the uh, their own vehicles to get loaded up. So it is 10 to 6 now. Um, we're going to head over to the house factory where there should hopefully be a load ready to go down to Plymouth. Um, ideally, we wanted to be setting out with it tonight because it's got to be there for 10 o'clock in the morning but by the time we get down there and have got it ready it's going to be most, most likely that we'll just be parking up and then um, running down with it as early as we can start tomorrow so with that I'm going to end tonight's vlog here I want to uh, thank everyone for watching and tuning in and um, a special congratulations to Paratus, who I mentioned earlier was having his test he's got in touch with me on Facebook and um, told me that he's passed his license so that's pretty damn awesome well done buddy and he's also said that I've, uh, I was one of his main inspirations to pick up the wheel so I'm honoured uh, it's one of the main reasons I do put these videos on YouTube is both to get a community um, spirit and build up the positive aspects of trucking but it's also to get new blood into the industry and get new people to get in the industry as well and start driving too so it's fantastic thank you all for watching guys and i'll catch you all next time